trip to the Great Wall of China begins at the base of a mountain access point about an hour outside Beijing. Some visitors hike to the top. We choose to make the short trip by cable car and get a preview of some of the amazing sights that await us. From this vantage point, the wall extends far in each direction. But this is just a fraction of the 6,000 miles of wall constructed over centuries as a line of defense for China's great dynasties. Some parts of the wall are close to 3,000 years old. Areas of the wall open to visitors have been restored, but other stretches have crumbled under the ravages of time. Bill McKinney is an American engineer living in Beijing visits the wall frequently. When I look at it, I'm just astounded that this thing could be built, uh, you know, without any modern tools or, or equipment. It's all built by, by hand. And, you know, a lot of smart people will, will probably help, help uh, do the engineering of this wall. I mean, it's, it's really one of the uh, uh, engineering marvels of the world. A day at the Great Wall can be grueling. Many areas are steep and there are plenty of uneven steps. When you come here, especially in the heat of the China summer, it's important to bring plenty of water. But the daunting effort doesn't sway huge numbers of tourists, and the wall is a must-see attraction for visitors to China. Even more are expected during the summer games. It is unbelievable. It's so surreal to think that this was built so long ago. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable may be the only word that fits this monument to human effort. It's also difficult not to be struck by the amount of sacrifice that went into its creation. Between two to three million Chinese are said to have perished during wall construction. Walking this wonder of the world thousands of years later brings visitors one step closer to the deep and rich history of this Olympic host nation. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Mutianyu, China.